What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Resolution Gate. Two words that we haven't talked about in a while that still seems to exist now for the last couple of years at least. It's kind of become the norm that multi-plat games in some way, shape, or form perform better on the PlayStation 4 hardware due to limitations on the Xbox One. Uh, and for everybody out there who owns Xbox Ones, I feel that. I own one myself. It's kind of become the norm, and you know, people kind of just look the other way when this happens. This hasn't been addressed by Microsoft, in my opinion, adequately enough, because for the most part, it's still happening. But the future does seem bright with new hardware looming on the horizon, and even with the Xbox One S. So in my mind, things should be changing now, if not very soon. But I'll drop a link in the description, because as it seems, another game, Multiplat, is coming out with the same issues. Attack on Titan will run at 1080p on PS4 and 900p on the Xbox One. The upcoming video game based on the popular and hit anime series is something that a lot of fans have wanted for a very long time. A true blue action game based on a series that lends itself to incredible set pieces and dramatic encounters. For an action game, it is absolutely necessary to maintain a steady frame rate, and the faster the better. So it should come as good news to fans of the anime who are waiting for the game to release that the game will maintain a steady 60 frames per second frame rate on both the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. The catch? The catch is that the Xbox One version of the game will be taking a hit on its resolution. In an interview with Gaming Bolt, Isashi Kuinuma, producer of the game, confirmed as much. Quote, the PS4 version runs at 1080p at 60 frames, the Xbox One version runs at 900p 60 frames, end quote. So, this continues. The Xbox One uh, can't keep up with the PlayStation 4 in some, in some situations when it comes to multiplats. Not every single game has had this issue that's been a multiplat, but lots of them have. My question is this. Now that we have the Xbox One S out there, and Digital Foundry did myriad tests on this thing and, and, and proved that it outperforms the original Xbox One, by leaps and bounds pretty much you know at some point they're seeing six percent higher frame rate uh on the xbox one s will that come into effect in the future when it comes to these types of situations uh will they be able to use some of that new packed in power of the xbox one s to kind of go more head to head with the playstation 4 i would think that the xbox one s can compete you know more handedly with the playstation 4 based on what i've seen but it seems that developers are still making games based on the original Xbox One uh, vanilla architecture. And I think that they should be trying to optimize it, at least for the Xbox One S, as time goes on and they phase that out. But this is all this is always going to make the Xbox One look bad. You know, if it's, a, if it's going head-to-head -head against another 8th generation console and that other console is able to have a prettier picture or a better frame rate. And I do agree with this article. I think the frame rate matters more than, you know, the visuals. But people are always going to look for what they interpret as the best. So the one that has the best picture and the same frame rate is what people are going to want. And for, for a long time, people have felt that way about the PlayStation 4. I'm just hoping that Microsoft you know, taps into the new power of the Xbox One S to try to make it more competitive around these areas and stop giving Sony such, you know, such a leeway when it comes to leading uh, when it comes to multiplats. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Some people might think that resolution matters more than frame rate. I honestly don't. I think resolution is fine. It's great to have a more crisp image. Uh, but I think that frame rate matters much more than uh, than crisp image. And at least both of these games run at 60 frames per second. And if you guys don't know what Attack on Titan is, it's an amazing anime. I'm a huge anime fan. I think it's awesome. Uh, and if you don't know what it is, you need to definitely check it out. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Will the Xbox One S be able to close the gap when it comes to situations like this? Uh, and of, of course, I would think that the Xbox Scorpio will just completely eliminate this kind of crap and even go forward uh, with resolution and frame rate over the PS4. You guys let me know what you think, though, in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time. Let it go, let